Jennifer Simey was born on December 7th, 1972, and she died in an auto vehicle accident on April 2nd. I believe it was 2001, um, and it was on the scene. Uh, she was the love of Keanu Reeves life and the mother of his only child now her son was conjunct Saturn at 1.7 degrees this is what she was like behind the scenes like this is just what it was like to to know her um, so I'm gonna do a bit of tarot as well as her energy work and of course the astrology um, so she was a very deep thinker she spent a lot of time in her mind uh, a lot of time thinking things before they happened so if she was in a state like thinking what's the worst possibility it was probably like a nightmare in her mind but of course she always had thoughts of great ideas too and they were usually great ideas she was so um, motivating and it, that was always that way for others but she failed to motivate herself or just be there for herself it really had to do with other people like she wasn't motivated to take care of herself unless she felt that she needed to be be there for others and that was her big motivation for doing the best she could um, it looks like her deep thinking made her ambitious but I see at the same time it did block her from certain things it blocked her from moving forward a lot now her true feelings were truly like utterly denied outlet and I think that had to, a lot to do with the controlling aspects, you know, that she dealt with growing up. Um, so she only had very few people in this world ever that she could truly let loose and open up with, especially Keanu. Um, doing their chart, their compatibility chart together, definitely check that out. Um, I did see that she held nothing back from him like she was always very honest but it was almost like all the feelings like she needed just to talk about regularly with him <laughs> kind of just exploded out on him and he's like where you know what the, the hell where's where's all this coming from you know but she had spent so much time with it inside herself that you should know you know but it's just a lot she she um, didn't like confrontation but she could she could be about it she just held too much inside and um, it's kind of like when you do that you can snap eventually it's just the pot that boils boileth over <laughs> um, and she was very street smart like she knew what time it was she could feel things she could sense things and you know she had issues receiving love from men and it looks like this comes it's looking like that energy comes from her her dad and it looks like this was why she truly needed that recognition she truly needed to make that name for herself like it was a big fucking deal like this was um, I am gonna say it was probably on a subconscious level like she was not thinking all that or or maybe she was but this was was the reason um, she thought so much with her head that she forgot to think about her heart and that her feelings matter and it's like she she didn't love herself so she needed love from others and she just needed love and she could come off very selfish very manipulative but it was all a cry for love she just wanted to be loved 
So she was there for others, but what she really needed to be was there for herself. Um, she really, really, really cared about others. Like she really gave a damn. If they were going through something, it was like she was just so all about helping them and, you know, putting her energy, investing it in the others. Like, and what about Jennifer? And, you know, it ended up killing her. So her moon is square Pluto. Uh, she was a very forceful individual, despite all that. Like, don't get it twisted. But her, her attitude was her way or the highway. And I, I don't mean to be putting in these puns or anything like that. It's just literal. Um, no one could stop her from doing what she's going to do. Um, she was the one who no one could tell what to do. And it wasn't always that way. Like when she was growing up, like she, she couldn't wait to grow up and fill the shoes of an adult so, so that she could do what she wanted to do, you know? Um, so she fought so hard to be her own person. It was, it was really big deal for her and a struggle and it meant something to her. You see, she had survival issues and that is a really big thing and it's not something you can get past. It's something you live with every day and you cope with. Um, survival issues are the same as anybody who has a drug addiction and she had her issues with that too. Um, you know, people who struggle with depression, people who struggle with codependency, there are all types of um, uh, trauma bonding. There are all types of things that people struggle with and she truly struggled with survival issues. She really needed to go to grief counseling. And I don't think they had that back then. I really don't. I don't know. Um, I really don't think they had that back then. Maybe. Who knows? Um, but she was, she was also quick to get uh, pissed the hell off. But she was equally quick to get over whatever she was mad about and especially through sex Jennifer loved makeup sex she loved music and the whole party scene like she never wanted that to end like that was home these were her friends and she loved meeting people she was a lucky woman um, who didn't know that the time to relax is when you don't have the time. She was always looking so much outside herself. She didn't realize she had everything. And, you know, it's really hard to, um, I believe it is um, by... Um, Blue out, low, low, um, zoo, low zoo. He said that muddy waters let them stand and they will become clear. That's a hard one. Let's quick take a little look at her tarot. I see she struggled a lot with disappointment with this five of cups here. A lot of disappointment, always feeling like um, no matter what she had, it was never enough, or no matter what she did, it was never enough. It made her feel like she had nothing. Again, this card, it comes up with art, which was everything, everything to her, you know, art. She was truly an artist through and through. Um, the personification of art. Um, she really needed to avoid extremes. I think she tried. The Prince of Swords comes up. Now, 
this freaks me out because like this is all coming up these cards came up in the reading I did the compatibility with her and Keanu uh, Reeves and it freaks me out because I shuffled the bloody hell out of these cards and it's like the same cards you know are coming up and you know this is all about cutting the cord again so um, you know all of this had been going on inside her you know apparently even before she got together with Keanu it was all about you know always um, cutting the cord always running running away from herself Uh, we have judgment but it is reversed so this constant refusal to get help and deal with the important shit that was going on instead of running towards all the wrong people all the wrong places you know she she lost out on these opportunities through through I am not going to even say the power of her will. It's almost like the power of another's will. Uh, can somebody having some form of control over her of what looked like an opportunity, but really wasn't. Like, really wasn't. And next we have, uh, this card's familiar too. It's the Ten of Wands. And this shows the, the oppression, just the... Um, being forced to um, grow up <laughs> being forced to l let's face it though sh she experienced things her and Keanu that no human being should ever have to f endure I mean life dealt them such cruelty like such sadness and they're not alone, you know, in their loss and their suffering. Things happen to people. And these are celebrities who have experienced this psychological fucking horror movie that is their life where all the worst things that could happen to them have. And you, you've you've got to really applaud Keanu and everyone who who loved Jennifer um, for being okay and and for existing it's, it's the true people that we need to keep standing strong you know and and using our voice 